Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Doug from Beyond Territory. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint your Brewtog Corpse Eater for Curse City. Um, three foot fabulous, as I usually paint. Hope you enjoy this one. Catch you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. Uh, this time I'm painting Brewtog Corpse Eater, another hero. Uh, bit of a beast. I look forward to painting this one. It looks really cool. We're starting again, this time with Cadian Flesh Tone for the skin. A couple of thin coats, focusing on the flesh, and every layer of paint I put on, I tidy up the one underneath. So. Just check around the miniature to so miss any flesh bits. That colour. Next colour is Saigal Brown and I'm focusing on Gators. This colour is Contrast Black, I'm going to use it for his boots. Skeleton Horn, Skeleton Horde for the horn here, and the skull. This colour is Blue. I'm using Ultramarine's Contrast Blue. Next colour, a bit of Skeleton Horde for the fluff around the edge. Fur around the edge. Next colour, Corn Red. I'm just going to cover the whole shoulder pad. Try and keep the edges clear. Don't worry if you go over, you can tidy up with bath and so gold. And these little phrases around his neck. Administrating grey for the base. This side. And for left direction. Shows on all the armor, chain, and plate that he's wearing, and the knee, everything really. And the weapons as well. Need to be the dead belcher on both hands, or in both hands. Next colour, Balthasar Gold. The brute coming in with right wing flesh tone, all the flesh.
uh, for some Nuln oil on all the chain armour, which is a lot of it, she's a big boy. And his helmet. Getting quite heavy with this wash. Quite dark. Alright, and the last shade for this dude is a bit of Agrax Earth shade for his shoulder. Okay, first colour is Kissel of Flesh. I'm going to focus on all the raised parts of flesh, even the shadows in the depths. Same for the face. Hands, same principle. Now some screaming skull, just focus on the edges of the fur. And with a little bit of Rhinox hide. The main parts of the leather. Okay, a little bit of cowgirl blue. Um, some edges of blue or somewhere. Okay, for the red shoulder, I'm coming in with either some scarlet and I'm just highlighting on the raised edges. A little bit of lead belcher on the edges of the helmet. I'm not going to do too much on the armour, but on the weapon, just the spikes. Kind of dry brush a little bit on the points, keeping the ball quite dark. The spikes. So now with Retributor armour, use the edge. The shoulder part, bad. And then for the base, sterling mud. Applied quite thickly. All over the flat of the base. And for his teeth, a little bit of white. Okay, now that the sterling mud's dry, and I did a wash on top to give it a bit more texture, I'm going to do the bases with a bad and black. Bad and black around the edges, just a, a bit different to the grey floors. Curse City. Have to be probably a couple of coats. Just get a nice black edge. There you go, managed to finish him. Brutog Corpse Eater. Um, put a little bit of static grass or shrubs, tufts. But he's all done. Still waiting for the edge of the base to dry a little bit, but pretty cool. I hope you like this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's nice to do a hero instead of all the bad guys all the time. So enjoy this one. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.